welcome to John's Spooky Kitchen. Just came up with that name right now. That's how good I am. Wasn't planned. Shit, you can't compete with that. Check out that social blade. Hey, you're just like one of them guys at Benny Hanna, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been thinking recently, and frankly, I got a little teed off. Excuse the language. Because I was thinking, Thanksgiving's got a festive holiday food. We roast a turkey for Thanksgiving. Christmas, you got the holiday ham. What do you got for Halloween? Nothing. What are you going to do, smelt candy corn down into a liquid, viscous gold? So I decided to come up with my own food uh, that'll be perfect for the Halloween season. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be cooking a turducken. Oh, well, what's a turducken, you ask? Well, well, obviously that's a chicken inside of a duck, inside of a turkey. It's the Frankenstein of foods, really. Borderline unethical. Okay, by the way, you might be thinking, John, how'd you devise that? Well, I didn't. That one comes uh, courtesy of uh, Paula Dean, go right on Food Network. Paula's just smiling away, but I tell you what, uh, the turkey, chicken, and duck probably aren't. True story, this is a dish so vile that PETA made a video condemning it, yeah. Hello, the internet. Today we're going to make a vegan version of a turducken, or as it's also known, a tofuckin. A turducken is a chicken stuffed inside a duck, stuffed inside a turkey, which is probably the grossest shit I've ever heard of usually eaten by simple bags. That's one bad recipe if you got grandma cursing up a storm over it. So now I, uh, with uh, literally zero training, am about to uh, try to cook this thing. As you can see, the level is advanced. Baby, I burn eggs. Prep time, 30 minutes. Total, 13 hours. All right, here we go. Step one, the chicken. Free bird. In the All right, let's, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, she's beautiful. I know people are gonna make fun of me because they're like, what, you've never deboned a chicken before? Is that part of the procedure? Is that as a maxi pad? Hmm. She was on the rag before she hit the slaughterhouse. This just shows how either incompetent my generation or me is. So the trick, the trick to, to turducken is you have to get, you have to debone this, basically. So we have to make an incision here. Yeah. Who needs these? Yeah, there goes that. Was I supposed to get rid of the wing? Well, I have. Well, I have. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. I'm supposed to get that thing, right? That whole middle out, but keep the rest intact. Now, I know this is true. But you see, the method of doing so is the, is the part that I don't understand. Something about there's a bone here, a joint, and I'm not a doctor, but I think that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, I was, just, I was more scared than the chicken I'm dealing with. Oh, I've sliced myself. Can you get salmonella in the bloodstream? I think I've got the hang of this now. There it goes, there it goes. Oh, I actually got this. Anyways, there's that. She's gone, it's gone, that's gone. Whatever it is, I don't care. There we go. Ch uh, boneless chicken <laughs> fillet. Hey, if the sun don't rise in the east, then that ain't a beautiful fillet. If the sun does rise in the east, then... I don't know what kind of metaphor I'm going for. What I'm trying to say is that's a beautiful bird. You know, even in my wildest dreams, I thought this couldn't possibly go this poorly. Second step's the duck! Now, if you want to know about this bad boy, I went to my local meat market that, that sells um, hard to find game here in New York City. And I said, you got duck? And they said, we're all out of duck. The last guy just bought it. And I said, are you fucking kidding me? This is what always happens to me. Fuck my life. Is there anywhere else here that sells duck? And he says, duck in this city? No way. Apparently he hadn't ever heard of Chinatown because I took the subway. I took the one line straight down to Chinatown, baby. Peking duck. An emotionless Chinese man sold that to me, by golly! I don't know if that's safe to eat. Listen, I love Beijing, I love the Chinese, but I'm a little skeptical of your duck. Normally I'm feeding you by the river. Today, I'm taking your skeleton out. That's life. I actually think my grandma once uh, gave me duck when I was like three, and I said, Grandma, frankly, this tastes like shit. My grandma said, watch your mouth. I pimp, I took the, my, Backhand to her. That was the last time grandma questioned me. Just kidding, that didn't happen, it was a complete lie. I love my grandma. 
but your duck still was tasted like shit. And that wasn't the joke. That was a real thing. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not a Ridley Scott film. It's anyone's guess as to what that is. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna put your chicken right inside your duck. And this, this is gonna really, I'm gonna tell you now, that's how you, you lock the juice in. Cover it back up with whatever that is and move it aside. For the star of the show, boys, that's right, I'm talking about the turkey, fresh, never frozen. This bad boy was watching Rick and Morty last night. This is good quality compared to the other things. Oh, it's absolutely massive. There's some sort of like thing here, some muzzle. Don't worry, guys, I don't think she's going anywhere. What is that? It's going into the walls of the turkey. Do you hear that? What have they done? So now it's time to get that turkey open and filleted, boys and girls, because we're making Halloween dinner. Hey, that's actually easier than the other one. That's not so bad. Yeah, okay, got you. See, I'm getting the hang of this. No, no. Okay, this one's got one too. Sometimes I go up to my mom and I go, <laughs> Prank you, mom. All right, so guys, what I suggest you do, you take your Peking duck, you get him right in there. Now this, as you can see, don't forget the paprika. You get a little garlic. You get a little pep. This is the paprika. Then you close that boy up. Now I got, now this is the part where you get the sutures. Okay, now that's a beautiful bird. That's a beautiful bird. You know, when you see something like that, you just can't help but wonder why. There has to be a greater power out there somewhere, so why would he let this happen? Okay, and she's together. I'm not. All right, guys, now that the climb, ow, it's hot, the glove's hot. Now for the climax you've been waiting for. One, two, Three, that's a lot of damage! Oh my god! The fucking spider webs! All right, she's done. You boys and girls ready to have a feast? Wait, what? It's a, it's a what inside a what inside a what? I will ew, not put ew, that meat in ew. my mouth no matter no. how hard you make it. Inside a duck, inside a turkey. Yeah, but yeah, but you. All right, guys, here goes. Oh! Holy smokes, that turducky! Oh, she's come back for vengeance! Dean is the reason all my friends are dead! Wow. I guess you could say <laughs> this wasn't fucking worth it at all! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Haints and Ghouls! Thanks for watching this special Halloween episode of JonTron! Are you feeling like this guy? You w walking around feeling like you got no direction? Like some sort of emotionless vessel? Well, I've got just the thing for you! Official JonTron merch is back at Represent.com! Surprise a loved one with this John and Jacques plug-and-play tee! Get an Eck phone case, cause I'm a dirty sellout! Hell, there's even socks in here! You know it's serious when a man is selling himself branded socks! There's also some hats, sweaters, and hoodies. Point is, go check it out. You won't regret it. Happy Halloween, everyone.